are staying at the Golden Blue Cabins. Um, we've got cabin number three. This place is fantastic. Clean. It's got a great view. Easy access. So you can drive right into town and uh, get everything that you need. We go inside the cabins. And again, very clean. Plenty of room. I think they're fairly new, so that helps. But I don't know that I've ever been anywhere off-road and then stayed at a lodge or a cabin. And the rooms in the bathrooms be as well kept as what these are. Like they have everything that you're going to need. So it definitely looks like Brandon Fane has set us up with some wonderful uh, sleeping arrangements. We're unpacked and now all we got to do is hit the trails. for some steaks. Yummy. Good morning, West Virginia. Yep, it's a beautiful morning. Chilly start, but it's supposed to warm up to a nice 63 degrees later.
to give, give Brandon a chance to say something and we'll get started. So if you would bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless the food we're about to receive. Make it for our bodies healthy and strong. Protect us, Lord, out, out here in West Virginia as we're having a good time and we're here for the right reasons. We know that you always have got your eye on us. Lord, we're living your plan each and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brandon, what's that? Uh, just, <laughs> I will. I just want to say thanks for everybody coming, first of all. Uh, we appreciate you. I got a lot of returners that come quite a bit and then a lot of new folks. Um, hope you're enjoying your stay. Hope you're enjoying the rides. Enjoy the food. Um, if y'all need anything, you can ask these guys. You can get a hold of us and we'll take care of what we can. Um, hopefully, we'll, y'all come back and check us out again. Appreciate you. Thank you. And Hangry Burgers. This is going to be running Hangry Burgers yay. down by our store. Oh, yeah, we saw that. Uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah. Uh, next weekend. Hopefully, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks fantastic. Who do we need to send, like, thanks to sweating in the kitchen? Sides and everything. My wife did the meats. Yeah. Team effort. Yeah. Wow. Pasta salad. A little bit of everything. Some funeral potatoes, beans, coleslaw, and pulled pork. All right. We're getting our eat on now. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is an old mine shaft. We're on the Pinnacle Creek Trail uh, on Hatfield McCoy, and uh, you can. There's a little hole here under the concrete, and you can drop rocks down in there and count and see how long they take to hit the bottom. So always a favorite stop, the old brick building. Uh, I think there might have been some kind of elevator or something here, some kind of mine shaft type thing, but uh, very old and a very popular stop. <laughs>
what we got, Brandon? What we got working? Oh, boy. And what do you got, Shake? Sweet tea and a chocolate, chocolate shake. shake. You're going to have to tell me what that's like since this is, what, the oldest drive-in? I guess. In West Virginia? Yeah, this was there. Get your two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Get her now. <laughs> hey, kids. What do we got? I got cool. a fat boy. So I got a fat boy with pickle onion with mustard. Yeah, is it pretty good? Dang good. Yeah. Would you get it again if you I came would by? Highly recommend. What do you, without a bun. you did what? You got it without a bun. But then it's got French fries. I got French fries. <laughs> okay. And the fries are pretty good too, uh -huh. huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diet cokes. You all didn't get the shakes or anything, did you? Nah. Yeah. Nah. You're like that. She well, gives my damn thing. jackets away and shit. A buddy of mine came to know. Hell, she Ask gave me that. one of your hats one time. Damn, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I had this nice, sweet fly jacket, right? We went to Pennsylvania, visited family and friends. We're at a party. It was cold. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, really? My name is Chad Rush. My wife, Jessica, and I own this building. Honeycomb Cafe is our little restaurant. But upstairs, we have the Main Street Suites, which are four two bedroom apartments that we rent out. You all open year round? Yes. Okay. Uh, we purchased the building about a year ago. We moved up from Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, after 14 years of law enforcement, eight years in the military, and we wanted a change of pace in life, and mm -hmm. this was it. All right, good change of pace. So what's what's some of the best items on the menu? What's your most popular? Uh, we have what we call a breakfast pocket. Uh, it's a croissant type dough filled with uh, egg, cheese, ham, sausage, bacon, mm -hmm. and that's probably our most popular uh, breakfast menu item. Okay. But we also have the lattes, cappuccino, espresso. Uh, we brought this. We've only been here about a month and a half. We saw a niche the town needed filled. Had I got the two eggs and, as much as and a meat, skate out of the radar, and jelly. get home. Strawberry yeah. jelly. Yeah. And you know like what? Okay. Okay. They leave, they leave early. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I don't know. We'll see. I don't blame them. No. What'd you get, Dale? I have two eggs scrambled with sausage and a croissant with strawberry jam. Uh, this is my favorite part. This is these historic homes. We uh, we probably take a whole trip just to look at historic homes. So we wanted to come down here before we left to just check it out see what it's about. It's currently owned by the Shahans. Uh, she was a retired doctor and he's retired military air force and they bought the house actually at an auction for like really? I think 80 grand. Oh, Let me see that map. But this one. This one. Well, I'll just show you. That's the one with the big retaining wall? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like I said, I'll tell you uh, who initially built them, a little bit about them. 
It's a neat town. There were, there were 18 millionaires here at one time, and they were all coal barons. 